video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Because uh, everybody liked the little audit I did of the, I guess you could say, Sovereign Citizen video the other day, the reaction video, however you want to put it, that I put up on, on here, I'm going to redo it. I'm going to do a different one. And uh, just give some commentary on how things could have turned out better for the individuals involved. And you'll see a very common theme in all of that. I'd also like to announce real quick here, those of you out there who are contracted to do workshops with me, I will get to you, okay? Next week or the week after, I will definitely get to you. The thing is, is I've been ill for a little bit now, and I'm just not in a mental, physical, or spiritual capacity to concentrate <clears throat> on a 60-minute workshop. And I want to make sure that you, as a student, get the quality workshop um, that you need. And so I want to be in a good position to do that. So don't worry. We're going to do it. There are two certainties with correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Number one, there's plenty of now space. And number two, to get the closure that we want to get. So without further ado, let's get to this uh, Sovereign Citizen video. All right, man. Sir, can I have your name, please? I didn't do a crime, sir. And the reason for the stop, okay? Sir, I didn't do a crime. Sir, can I have your name and badge number, please? Yes, it is. It's Deputy McElveen. Deputy McElveen, my badge number is 4300-1576, okay? Okay. Again, I'm going to need you to step out the vehicle for I'm not getting out of the vehicle, vehicle sir. Okay? I, did, I didn't do a crime. I did nothing wrong. I heard so, no again, one. I've explained to you. You're operating a vehicle with a fake license. Plate. I didn't hurt no one. This is a private this vehicle. Is a private this vehicle. Is a private vehicle. Yes, it is. We, we are allowed to. Okay. Right there, the officer said this is not a private vehicle. Who is he to say that? Who is he to say it's not a private vehicle or not a private vehicle? He can say that it is not. doesn't have reg fiction registration. It doesn't have registration as per the context that he works within, but he can't say it's public or private. He has no idea. Uh, that's okay. Number one, number two, the people in the vehicle. Uh, and as I said at the beginning, you'll find this is a common theme with these sovereign citizen people or, you know, like-minded people, Moors or however you want to put it. They're, they're very defensive. They get into what colon the late, Colin David Eiffel Lynn Colin Miller, much respect, used to say, don't get into a pissing match with a police officer. Just don't do it. This guy, <clears throat> standing on the side of the road, works a job that is very stressful. Okay? He probably has his own family and children, his own home. This is his job. This is what he believes in. He's doing what he's told. 
I find that if you are reasonable with a reasonable individual, they will be reasonable back. But if you start being irreasonable or non-reasonable or unreasonable like these people right out of the gate, then you're going to meet resistance. And keep in mind, folks, those two people in the vehicle that are talking are only two people. They don't have a police force or an army to back them up. The officer on the outside does. <clears throat> has the bigger guns and clubs. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Don't be stupid. If you can maintain those three principles, balance of the honor and the grace, position of peace and neutrality, maintenance of rule one, rule equal, you will safely navigate through these scenarios. Guaranteed. Well, okay, 99% guaranteed. But these people are not doing that. Well, obviously, they don't know correct sentence structure or anything like that. They're probably more of the common law type. But this is what happens. So that's just funny that that officer said that. This is not a private vehicle. How do you know, bro? To travel by the no, Supreme sir, not, Court. Okay. Close that, close sir. Vehicle, okay? Close that door. Can you the vehicle for me? No, close that door, please, close sir. The vehicle for me. No. Close. Okay, that is a trespass. The officer opened the door like that. That is definitely a trespass. Because that vehicle is not his. And so he does not have any position to be opening the vehicle like that. Now, keep in mind, I'm giving this, um, this audit based upon the video. I didn't see what transpired prior to the beginning of the video. I don't know what happened or what interactions they had. I'm just going by the evidence in front of me. Sir, close the vehicle, please. Close the vehicle, please. I I did no crime. I'm going to let you step out the vehicle for me. I did no crime. You're refusing to identify yourself or... Lock that is not a crime. I'm, I'm, I'm identifying myself. myself. Sir, I'm, I'm asking you. I'm identifying myself. Sir, I'm asking you nicely. I'll identify myself. Vehicle. Sir. Give me my driver's license. Hold on. Sir. Can you please... Give me my driver's license. Hold on a second. Sir, his name is Steven. So okay. therefore, I'm that's... Gonna, that, that I'm is... Give me my driver's license, sir. If you could, please. Yes, yes sir. Give me my driver's license. Yeah. You... That's what I've been asking for this entire time. Okay. And I'm going to ask you now that he's self-identifying, if you could close the door, please. All right. Do you have an ID on you, ma'am? I do. Okay, can I see it, please? I'll give you my passport. No, th that's fine. <clears throat> All right, keep in mind, folks. Police officers, <clears throat> state troopers, whatever. Vasilis, go through this process multiple times in a day, probably. Every day, for years and years. This looks like a young gentleman, but maybe he's been on the force for a few years. He goes through this every day. He's expecting to see certain things. You can navigate correctly with correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, while showing him the documents that he wants to see. But then you can add some additional things to it and start explaining to him uh, the mechanics of salvage and things like that. And about the all caps name, you can touch on a little bit. But I guarantee you that if you have closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, if you have closure on it, if you can explain it in the blink of an eye to another individual who knows nothing about it, if you can show that you know what you're talking about. As you're doing this, this individual will no longer want anything to do with you. They may not know what you're talking about, but they know that you know what you're talking about. And suddenly, they're in, a, in over their head. They're out of their depth. And they just want to swim to a shallower part of the pool and get away from you. But you have to do all of this without like stopping on the brakes <clears throat> or getting defensive or getting into a pissing contest. You have to do it in a supremely calm and confident manner. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
by the way, the terminology that the uh, driver and the passenger use when he said, give me my driver's license, it's not his driving license. It's whatever state he's in. It's their driving license. Like, for example, my driving license says Michigan driver license. So the license belongs to the state. It doesn't belong to me. It's not mine. I just paid a fee for freight to uh, for a permit to perform a function on a fiction highway that would otherwise be illegal. And I'm towing that as a salvage so that I'm correct using my CPAS C treaty with correct sentence structure. Do you hear me? That South Carolina driver's license too. No, sir. Oh, okay. Is that I'm, thing? Because I'm not driving. Oh, okay. So therefore, you don't need my ID. Okay. Sure. So therefore, I'm giving you my okay. passport. Okay. Yes, for ID. Yeah, yeah. I'm still going to ask you to fill up the vehicle. Though. I'm not getting out of the vehicle. Okay, I didn't do a crime. I've asked you nice to fill up the vehicle. I don't have to get out of the vehicle. So I did no. He's about to say I did no crime. This is correct. What I mean. Okay, it's correct in the context of the video that I don't see where any crime has been committed other than the police officer said, you're driving with a fake plate. And that is considered a crime in the fiction system. If they don't see what they're used to seeing, they're going to stop you. Now, what is the legal uh, definition, no finite mean of a crime? A crime is an act committed or omitted in violation of a public law, either forbidding or commanding it, a breach or violation of some public right or duty. Okay. So, whatever the fiction system deems as a crime is a crime. Now, in my mind, <clears throat> in my mind, under the rule of do no harm. The only crime is when someone has been harmed. Or harm is about to commence or trespass, so on and so forth. Driving with a fake license plate or without the fiction register, <clears throat> sorry, registered license plate, in my mind, is not hurting anyone. Who is that hurting? What damage is that causing anyone except for the pocketbooks of the fiction system. But as you will find out, if you get into this stuff, follow the money, because it's all about money. Yeah, sometimes they get murderers and rapists off the street and pedophiles and things like that. But for the most part, it's shit like this that lines their pockets. Crime. Okay, well, stay I off, nothing so wrong. I'm going to ask you to get out the vehicle if I want to, okay? And I'm asking you, based on your actions so there far, I'm asking you to get out the vehicle. Yeah. Right? What, I just had a funny thought. What if <clears throat> the officer just said, I can ask you to get out of the vehicle if you if I want to. What if that dude asked him, well, why don't you get in the vehicle? Why don't you get in the vehicle? Hop in the back seat. How about that? Would that be better? That would be funny shit. <laughs> so, he, so he's getting out, ju sir, just so that we're... we're and sir, just to let you know he's getting out of the vehicle. Yes. Can you step out of the car too? I will not. There's no reason why I need to. Can you please step out of the vehicle? No, I cannot. Ma'am, can you please exit the vehicle for me? What, what, why? What did I do? Can't, I'm at, I'm what did, because you're a passenger in the vehicle, I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle for me. There, the officer is not giving a reason. And it seems, it appears as though the officer is really losing his patience at this point. I've explained that to you, okay? Just give me a second. I will not step out of the vehicle. He has not explained anything. Can you please? Other than do as I say or else. Exit the vehicle. Please. There's no reason that I need to. Yes, there is, ma'am. I need you to step out of the vehicle for me. No, sir. Ma'am, I've asked you nicely. This is a lawful order. Please exit the vehicle. Well, we didn't do anything. A lawful order under what authority? What authority does that man have over anyone in that vehicle? Other than the authority that is assumed. Just asking. You're wrong, sir. Can you please exit the vehicle? No. Me? Is there a public safety hazard happening right here? Are these people suspected murderers, serial killers, rapists? <clears throat> or 
are they simply driving a vehicle? They've done nothing wrong traffic-wise. Like, we'll just say, we'll guess that they didn't fail to use a turn signal. Their taillight wasn't out. They didn't swerve anywhere. They're following all of the laws of the road. <clears throat> the only thing that's wrong is the license plate does not fit within the officer's narrow construct of what a license plate should look like. That's why he pulled them over. That's why he wants them to exit the vehicle. It's not because there's any danger or harm. And now it's come down to he wants them to do it because he feels he has the authority to tell people what to do. Through the state or whatever, whoever his employer is, whoever signs his checks, that gives that makes him feel he has authority over other human beings. And there's nothing really that these two individuals can say that are going to change that. So keep that in mind. Yeah, you have to consider the other contract party. You have to consider what their mental condition of state is and have consideration and kindness also for them, also firmness, but you have to have consideration. I've asked very nicely. Okay. And I'm telling you that there is no reason for me to get out of the vehicle. I'm asking you very nicely, Mary. I'm, I am I'm not right. getting out of the vehicle. I've asked you nicely, this is a lawful order. I have not done a crime. I'm not driving. I am. I, we are traveling. Okay. Excuse me, sir. So what I will tell you is, based on the, both of y'all's actions, I don't feel comfortable with anything in this vehicle right now. I would like, hold on, sir. I would like to conduct this traffic stop outside of the vehicle based on your actions because I do no. not feel comfortable with the way you are acting. And that's, this and that, that's not, not my issue. Or any type of thing like there are no this weapons in this car. Okay. I've asked nicely. He's, I'm not sure. <laughs> So he just said he doesn't feel comfortable based upon their actions with them being in the vehicle. That he feels more comfortable with them out of the vehicle. Well, if he feels threatened, why would why would he want them to get out of the car where they outnumber him two to one? That's not logical. That's not reasonable. I'm asking you to please exit. The I vehicle. will not ex exit okay. my vehicle. I feel safe here. Okay. Well, I'm asking you again. This is a lawful order to exit the vehicle, okay? I am not going to exit the vehicle. I feel safe here. I okay. do not feel well, safe I've on the middle of the road. Coming, but when they get here, we, we can address that, okay? But I'm going to ask you again. I feel safe here. You have a weapon. I do not. Just give us a ticket and, and we'll this be gone. Not, no, you're not, you, no. We did nothing wrong. That's not how this is going to go, okay? We didn't break any sir, law. Sir, this is my traffic stop, okay? Please. We, we did. Out. We have okay. done nothing I've wrong. Asked you very nicely to exit the vehicle. I am not. I am not exiting the vehicle. Can I get a cigarette? No, sir. You cannot. I don't want you reaching back in the vehicle right now. I don't want you. I don't want you reaching back in the vehicle. I have the right to get a cigarette, sir. Sir. I have the right to get a cigarette. I've asked you to step back. I've asked you to step out of my vehicle, okay? I've asked you to step out of my vehicle. All right. I'm asking that you don't walk toward me anymore, ma'am. And the common theme in these types of stops is that there has been no violence, no threat of violence. The threat of violence and the violence and the force comes when the police officer comes. They bring the force to the situation. They're forcing these people out of the vehicle by intimidation or by physical force, which is probably going to happen, I'm guessing, when his backup gets there. If you there. would please get out of the vehicle. No, sir. I've explained to you I do not feel comfortable with either one of y'all's vehicle right now. That's another thing Colin David Eiffelwin, Colin Miller told me. Never say no if you can help it. I mean, there are times when you would have to, yes, of course. But in that situation, you don't need to say no. There are other things that you can do. But why would you let it get to this point anyways if you actually knew what you were doing and were confident with what you were doing? And I'm sorry that you feel that way. But however, there are no, there are no weapons in this vehicle. Okay. And therefore... There is no reason why you should feel ill about us being here. There is no reason why no, I should so get out. You anything out of this vehicle right now, okay? There. No, sir, you cannot. There. I'm asking her to get out of the vehicle. As soon as she gets I out of the vehicle. No yes, sir, you did. What did I do? I'm bringing a vehicle with a fake license plate. There's, there's no license plate on there. This is a private vehicle. Again. And, and therefore. Again, ma'am. This is a ma private ma vehicle, and we are traveling. We are traveling. We are not driving. We are traveling. We have the right to travel. It and the this, the South, the um, Supreme Court 
of the United States has ruled that we are able to travel freely unencumbered. Yes. All right, they're talking about fiction, 14th Amendment. They're talking about the Supreme Court said that you can travel freely. Talking about semantics here. They didn't give any Supreme Court ruling. They don't have a proof. I mean, if if I were, I guess in their situation, I would carry around paperwork that has proof of that to show, hey, you know, it says here that uh, you can travel freely, but you have to pay to drive, to be specific, because that's what they're implying. But they don't have any of that. It does. No, sir. We have the right to travel. No, sir. Okay. All right. Look it up. Educate yourself. We are able to travel free and, un and unencumbered okay. in in our okay. own private vehicle. Okay, that's great, no, Okay. And that and the and the and the United States Supreme Court has ruled on this okay. multiple times. Again, again, this is my traffic stop. This is my traffic stop. Okay. I'm conducting this. All right. I need both of y'all to relax. I'm asking you once again: Is it a lawful order? to exit the vehicle, and okay? I'm not trying to make this any harder than it needs to be, but I'm asking you to exit the vehicle now, okay? I am not exiting the vehicle. I feel safe here. Okay, you have fine. a, you Can have- you watch her? No, no, watch her. I am not gonna cause any issue, but I am not going to leave, the, leave my vehicle. I feel safe here. Y'all have weapons, I do not. I am not leaving my vehicle. All we need you to do is step outside, okay? And why is that? Again, ma'am? Tell me why I need to I leave the vehicle. Lawful order to exit the vehicle. Yeah, tell, tell her why. This doesn't mean lawful order. I mean, order is no contract. Vassalis give orders to other Vassalis. If these individuals were truly sovereign, this would never be happening. But they're not. Because uh, it's my guess they don't really know what that means. Again, folks, they have the bigger guns and clubs. It doesn't matter um, if you try and use fiction against fiction. In this scenario, at this point, it's a lost cause. You're going to get ripped out of the vehicle and put in jail. And you're going to go through the ringer for a second. And the best that you can really do is try and educate yourself so that the next time, if this happens again... You can better navigate it. Okay. Tell me why. Watch her. Okay. I need to leave. Watch her. Could I have a supervisor, please? Just hold on one second, man. Could I have a supervisor? I believe someone is coming. I, I would like a supervisor. Okay. I mean, not. And your, your name and badge number, sir? Chavis. And your badge number? 75. 75? Yes. Thank you, sir. All right, ma'am. Again, I'm going to ask you, this is a lawful order to exit the vehicle, please. Here you come. I am not exiting the vehicle. I feel safe here. That's, I'm, I'm glad you feel safe in your vehicle, ma'am. But again, this is a lawful order, and you are to exit your vehicle now. Please please tell me why I need to exit. I'm not the driver. I am not the... I've explained I, we are traveling. Lawful, you are traveling. So. This is a lawful order to exit the vehicle now, please. Please tell me why. Because I gave you a lawful order to. I've asked you oh, multiple so, times. So here. you're... you're so. to exit the vehicle, please. Okay? Right, here it Make comes. Make sure I'm in frame for this. Okay. Good? You got... Yep, I got you. Waist ahead, right? Yep, I got you. Right. And your name is... Sergeant Tate. With and your... And your badge number. 31. Okay. You are being ordered out of a vehicle pursuant to case law, Brenlin B, California which gives us the authority from the Supreme Court of the United States to order passengers out of the vehicle. And the Supreme Court has also ruled that we are able to travel unencumbered. That's not true. Yes, it is. That's the Supreme Court has ruled on that numerous times, the last time being 2014. Okay. Ma'am, I'm trying to do this as safely and inconveniently for you as possible. As safely and inconveniently for you as possible. Is that a Freudian slip or what? So you have received a lawful order to exit the vehicle from one of my deputies. Okay, so why do I, if you I'm... You need to remove your safety restraint and you need to exit the vehicle. 
Why do I need to exit the vehicle? Ma'am? Why? Because he gave you a lawful order pursuant to case law that, that gives us that authority for our safety and your safety. Okay, but did she agree to that case law? Or is this a might makes right scenario? That's a rhetorical question, by the way, folks. You just step out of the vehicle. You, you, I'm not you guys. Get into semantics with you. You guys. The argument on the legal grounds on your end is the, the sovereign part of it. Step out of the vehicle, or we will have to physically remove you from the vehicle, which is what we were trying to avoid having to do. I do not give you permission to search me or my property. Okay, please step out. I do not give you permission to search my vehicle. I do not give you permission no to one's do it. Step out of the vehicle. But again, I have asked you numerous times on body. But there's no reason for me to do so. Whether you, the vehicle. There's no reason for me to do so. Whether you think there's a reason or not is irrelevant in this entire scenario, okay? Exactly. As wrong as that may sound to you, at this point in this scenario, <clears throat> this could have been addressed way at the beginning. Before they even started filming, this could have been headed off at the pass. But these people don't have the knowledge or the wherewithal to do that. Obviously, they're not possessed with that. So therefore, it's gotten to this point where it's a might makes right thing. These officers are now deploying resources to this, probably in their minds, goofy scenario. And they're getting fed up because things aren't going the way they normally go. Things aren't going smoothly. They're mess these two people are messing up their day. They are sucking resources from other areas. And so now... It's just all about do as I say or get messed up. Step out of the vehicle on your own accord, under your own power. Your own That's what I'm asking bro. you to do right now. It's called coercion. I'm grabbing my purse. Accompany me to the driver's side. I would like for you to be with your dog. Okay. So if you're My ready, dogs. Okay, multiple. Yes. If you, what's the easiest way to get out? Driver's side or passenger side? For the dogs. Yes. The, to get the dogs out of the vehicle. Probably through the back. Okay. Well, let's go to the back so you can retrieve your dog. I'm gonna shut your door. Now, I will. Okay? I will close my door. I did not give you permission to touch my car. That's fine. I do appreciate the fact that with what knowledge the woman has, that she is definitely standing her ground. So she has the gumption. She just doesn't have the knowledge. Yeah. Okay. So we don't know what really happened to them, do we? Let's look at the comments. Okay. Adrian Brazil says, they have that ruling on their phone as he does too. Are they not truly sovereign by being born to the land and the belief in paperwork is fraud? Well, actually, if you look up what the meaning of sovereign means in the context of a, a political nature and a regional nature, if you are a sovereign, that means that you produce your own fuel, you produce your own food, you're not reliant on anyone else, you produce your own money, and you have claim to your own land. And you can back that up. You can hold what you can keep. That is what it means to be sovereign. 
That's why they say the United States is a sovereign country because it makes its own currency. It has its own land and it can hold the land by military force. That is what it means to be sovereign. That's why you see these sovereign individuals. I don't want to say citizens because sovereign citizen is an oxymoron. It doesn't make any sense. Because if you're a citizen, you're subservient to the city. <clears throat> a sovereign is not subservient to anyone. That's why you have these free men who hole up in bunkers in the mountains with guns and stuff, and they can hold their land against attack, and they produce their own food and fuel. Well, to an extent, maybe. But you see what I'm saying? That's why people don't know what it means to be sovereign. They think they know, but they don't really. If what the officer said is true, she should be able to pull that Supreme Court case up on her phone. True. Sue their arses. See, now if, if you're familiar with correct sentence structure communication policy syntax grammar, you will know that makes absolutely no sense. Because now you're appealing to the fiction system, the same system that pulled you over and yanked you out of your car. That same system, you're asking them to police themselves. Which, to me, lacks all logic and makes no sense at all. So there you have it. Again, they could have avoided all of that very easily at the very beginning when they got pulled over for the plate if they would have known what they were talking about. <clears throat> and if they were using correct sentence structure, communication, policy, syntax, grammar, which they obviously were not. So, thank you very much. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.